everybody. Um, before starting this presentation, I would love you to dream with me, just a little bit. Dream of a world where financial inclusion is not a wish, but a reality. A world where people can easily access to different products, credit cards, loans, accounts, digital accounts. A world where every single company in the world, or at least most of them, uses Finerite their core banking system application. So, for the ones who don't know me, which I assume is everybody here, um, I'm from Buenos Aires, Argentina, World Cup champion. I can cross something from my bucket list, showing a picture of Messi with the World Cup. Um, and as every Argentinian, I love barbecues, or as we call them, asados, and mate, of course. Um, so, yeah. What I do, as Javier said, I'm business manager at Fitter, and you might be wondering, what the hell is Fitter? <laughs> so, yeah, Argentina, over there, at the bottom. So what is Fitter? Fitter is a service company, 100% specialized in offering um, services around Apache Finerat. We implement customize and offer support around Finerite. This is the only thing we do. We are experts in Finerite and in nothing else. Um, some of the facts, well, we, we are a worldwide company from the world to the globe. Um, we have a team in 15 cities. We have, we have a very diverse team, commercial team in South America, our delivery team in Africa. Um, clients in more, of, in more than 30 countries, so yeah, that is feature. Um, Javier is here, so I have to say um, the amount of clients we have. Uh, so what is Apache Finerite? Well, uh, Apache Finerite is a core banking system, or just more simple, a solution um, used by financial entities to offer financial products to manage their clients, their accounts, their loans, and much more other things. And it's a, a very flexible, modular uh, software, and also API-driven. I'm going to talk a little bit more about the characteristics uh, later. Um, and I'm, I assume, as part of an open source community, that you all agree with the next slide. Uh, financial entities don't need a core funding system. That's a lie. They just need thinner. So th this short introduction was not very important, but it was important somehow, because I want to share my perspective. What I do at Twitter is talking with clients every day. Um, and I want to tell you and share with you what they think about this product. Um, what are the, the advantages of selling and commercializing Finerite? And which are the things that complicate things uh, too? Um, which are the disadvantages we have and the constraints uh, we face every day? So, what are the main characteristics and advantages of Apache Finerite? I want to speak about three. There are many, but I want to speak about three, uh, especially. The first one, and the most important for our clients, is that they have no license fee. I mean, we're talking about an open source product, so this is something basic. But many people who doesn't know about Apache Finerite, don't know about this. They are um, used to pay hundreds of thousands of dollars in licensing cost. So when you say, hey, this shouldn't be like this, they open their eyes and listen differently to what we have to say. Uh, and this one, these are some examples from different companies. Um, the first one, a global payments company um, that, as you can see, um, went from a proprietary um, software to FINRA, and they are making huge savings in terms of operational costs. Um, 
The second one is a Nigerian lending company. It's a friend of us that went from 500,000 USD, US dollars, um, to zero using Fira. This is a, a company that focuses mostly in the LMS, the loan management system. And the last one, a Colombian lending startup. Um, this is not a client of us. We, we had conversations with them at the beginning of the year and they decided to use Finart and implement it by themselves, which is something great as well. Uh, the, the, the goal here is people using the product, uh, no matter if it's with us or by themselves or without a vendor. So we've seen different sizes of companies that and, and from different regions that are using and that, that are taking advantage uh, of, of FINRA. The second characteristic is about flexibility. Um, FINRA is a very flexible software. And when we can see this flexibility, well, the main, the, the, the main use cases are when we face local tax regulations or regulations in general. Every country is different and we have to adapt FINRACT to these regulations. Um, so without a flexible uh, software, it would be impossible to have clients in Nigeria, Colombia, uh, China with, this, with the same software. So this is something great. The second one is bureaus integration. Um, again, we are um, integrating the software with local governmental entities um, and it's impossible for, for companies to, to do business without that. So bureaus integrations uh, are something important too. And the last one is that anything can be done on top of Interact. We can create uh, new modules such as revolving credit or adapt the system to payroll credit, factoring or anything we can imagine. The last characteristic our clients really care about and that people using Finiart really care about is scalability. Um, we have clients um, that scale with us a lot. The first one, um, we, we have a, an African client that uses Finiart and has more than 5 million active clients. Another one, um, another, another example is uh, a migration we did for another African company. Um, we migrated nine million of loans uh, from, a, from another vendor and a proprietary one. And the use case and the, and the use case of the company is the same, exactly the same. So they, they continue operating without any problem. Um, Another thing about scalability is the, that there is no additional cost per user or account every time uh, the company has any client. So this is something also uh, very important in terms of cost, very related to, to the previous slide. But this is not a rainbow and, and, and sparkles and, and shine. Uh, there are many problems as well when we want to offer Finera. Uh, well, these are other good characteristics before jumping in, in, in the disadvantages. There is no vendor looking, the integrations capability and no ownership as well. The possibility to own the solution, to own the code, and do whatever you want with it. But as I said, we are not smiling every day when working with Finera. So which are the disadvantages and um, the most common problems with selling Finerat or selling a project of implementing Finerat? So the first one is a, a difficult one to swallow and is that nobody knows Finerat. Uh, and this is, uh, this is a fact. Only 5% of prospects, of people I talk with every day ever mentioned Finneract prior 
our conversations. And this shows us we have a very big acknowledgement problem that needs to be solved. Um, our prospects do know other companies, uh, such as Bamboo or Temenos, and, and there is a, a very big breach that we need to close, and a gap that needs to be closed in order for us to reach out to, to more people and to get to companies that eventually will offer financial products to the people um, in a better way, and it's going to serve people at the end. The second thing is about lack of trust, and it's very related to the previous one. You're not going to give your, your kids to a stranger uh, to take care of them. So if you own a company, you're not going to let someone you don't know to implement a solution you don't know to run your business operation. And it's perfect. It's, it's completely normal. So we have to, we have to deal with, with this lack of trust and work around it. Um, and, and what are the things that happened because of the lack of trust? Well, the first one is that we have longer decision-making processes. Implementing a core banking system is not something easy. It takes time. And I'm sure we could, we could have smaller decision-making processes than we have now um, based on our experience. Um, we have at least three to five months in order to, to, to get a client on board, at least. We, we could be talking about a year. So this is something we need to work on. If you don't know the, per, the people you're gonna work with, you're gonna have a higher risk. So not many people like to take risks. Um, And the, the, the last thing is we are going to have a lower conversion rate. Less people is going to use uh, Fineract or is going to use a software if they don't get to know it, their capabilities. And us as a company, uh, as the ones that are going to walk along with them in the implementation process. The last thing is not very related to me, but it's something that, that I'm very aware of, and is that it is almost impossible to implement Fineract without customizations. We need to, to put our hands over the code and make changes for the clients. This is something that always happens. So it's not that just a plug-in, just walking in, uh, closing a deal and, and giving Fineract. Uh, it doesn't work like that. And, and this is because mainly because we have a, a very wider world, 195 countries, and infinite regulations, infinite uh, number of financial entities, and each of those need different things. So we need to adapt reports, we need to adapt um, the product configurations, and we need to adapt to each of those companies that have different needs. The last thing is about guidance and consultancy. Um, many companies want to use the software and they, they, and they do it, but it's not only that, but guidance in terms of other products or other services they need around Fineract, such as a loan origination system, KYC, uh, decision engine, or many other things uh, where we as, as FINERAC experts, we need to give them some advice. Um, otherwise, they are not going to, to get into the finish line. So if clients are not looking for FINERAC or FITER, what are they looking for? Because they must be looking for something, right? So they look for many other things. They look for a core banking solution, an LMS. 
they want to uh, manage savings account or they want to manage loans or they want to they wanna manage a financial software. And the other thing that we need to discover behind this request, it's, it is the, the real pain. What do they really need? Why are they suffering? Nobody wants to change their core banking system unless it's extremely necessary. Uh, it's the core of the operations. So um, they are struggling with costs. They are struggling with scalability, with flexibility to add new products. Um, to, they are running too many manual tasks. These are all things that we frequently uh, discuss with the with the people that want to implement FinRAT. But don't worry, guys. Future is bright. I'm going to use mine as well. Um, I'm just, just kidding a little bit. But yeah, we, we are using different solutions or, or we are working out these problems and I, I want to share with you my perspective uh, of how these previous problems can be solved and, and we can find workarounds. Yeah, the so the first one is about what we are doing right now right here in this the same room and it's about community it's about sharing what we do it's about talking with others and spreading the word we need the world to know about FinRAT this is the first problem and the, 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 the main issue we need to solve um, to, to win and, and to gain adoption worldwide so what do we do we participate at events that we are doing now we do hackathons internally We're with our developing team and we are active on social media as well um, I'm very yeah I'm always trying to, to talk with the team to talk with those guys that are, are not very active that they don't like to show what they do that they don't, know, they don't like to um they like to show off that uh, they don't want to they don't want to share and they should, we all should this is something key in terms of the process of, of getting getting adoption of the, of the solution and these are other uh, solutions we have, very important ones, um, the first one is tackling the, the, the company's pains and doubts. We need to let them know we can solve the problem. That Finger Act can solve what they need, and they are going to have that. They will have a software that will last for years, um, and that will give them freedom and ownership, which is something very important. We at Feature apply what we call a land and expand um, technique and strategy in terms of expansion. And basically, it's not rocket science at all. Basically, it means to enter and to win the first client in a, in a new region by all means, in a new country. And why is this? Because it's essential to show business cases to the next companies to come and and not only being able to show uh, previous business cases and success which, which are going to, to, to build trust for us but having a long term relationship with active clients using Finerat in order to be able to share t testimonials be people who use Finerat your, your first salesman um, use that in your advantage so people that, that already use this are the are the ones that are going to help you the most 
if you're having trouble to enter a new region, then don't do it by yourself. Look for a local partner. Look for someone to, to introduce to you the, the local people, the, the different companies, someone who knows the different regulations, and learn by doing. Learn by doing. By, by earning this new client, we'll have the possibility to get that experience about local regulations and then be better at what we do and offer that to, to others. So, yeah, and, and that is very related to the possibility of adapting to previous solutions. So I have a final request for all of you, um, for all the people that is listening to this talk, to everyone that is uh, involved in the Apache Finac project, and is to go out there and tell others about what we do, to keep growing this community, um, because the final impact we will have in the, in the people that don't have access to financial inclusion, as I said in the beginning, to, to different products, to a savings account, to the possibility to get a loan, a productive loan, uh, they will get it if we, if we join and if we work all together. And if we are lucky enough, we will raise the financial work up in terms of core bankings. Thank you very much.